I would start by saying that as a taxpayer, I recognize it is absolutely critical that we move to eliminate our budget deficit. And the only ways to do it, really, are to generate income, generate revenue, um, or cut spending or a combination of both. In the area of cost cutting, it was once said that the moral test of government is how that government treats those who are at the dawn of life, the children, those who are in the twilight of life, the elderly, and those who are in the shadow of life, the sick, the needy, and the handicapped, Hubert Humphrey. Now, I would like to speak about those in the dawn of life, our children, and specifically our children born into poverty. The YWCA is the local administrator for child care subsidy funds. What is that? A parent who's receiving uh, temporary assistance for needy families, also known as welfare. If that parent goes to work, that parent and that parent remains uh, low income, that parent is entitled to subsidy for child care. Why are these funds critical to our area? If you take a single age work, uh, earner who is making minimum wage, and that earner has a three-year-old and a six-year-old, that person after taxes would take home monthly $1,131 approximately. Now the monthly cost for the all-day care for the toddler um, would be approximately $736. And the after-school care for the school-aged child is $524 for a total of $1,207.63. What that means is that before paying taxes or buying food or rent, I should say before uh, food or rent, that parent is in the hole of $127.66. And that's why you will hear people say, I cannot afford to work. The subsidy program was created under the Clinton, Clinton administration as part of the Welfare to Work Act. And what that means is that parents on welfare who return to work and are low income can receive subsidy for their children's daycare. The parent pays a copayment from $10 a week to $70 a week. So in my example, that person would pay $40 a month, and then the rest of those funds that they earn can go toward rent, food, and transportation. These parents are tax-paying citizens. They pay federal, state, local taxes, and they contribute to Social Security. Today, across Allegheny County, 20,520 low-income children are in subsidized daycare, and we currently have a waiting list of 669 children. We pay the child provider directly, and we verify the employment of the parents on a regular basis. But who does this money also benefit? Those people locally